Right, let's do question 3.2. So Mrs. Hormel created a birthday calendar for her 2024 class to hang against the wall. She will write each learner's name and birthday on a small circular wooden tag and attach the tag to the current to the correct month. The circular wooden tag has a circular has a circular hole to attach a ring that is used to hang the tag. The area of the circular hole is this. Okay. Every year she paints the front surface area of the circular wooden tag. Okay. The spread rate of the paint is six meters squared per liter. Okay. So we're probably going to have to do quite a few things here, but that's okay. Here's the picture. So there is um, the, 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 like the name and the birthday, and that'll be put onto that tag. Okay. So let's look at the first question. So first question says determine in centimeters the circumference of the wooden tag. You may use the following formula. So they've given us this. Be careful. If they give you this. 3,142. Don't go plug in pi into your calculator. They don't want you to use pi. They want you to use 3,142. Okay, so just be careful there. Okay, so 3.2.1. Okay, so I'm going to say 3,142. And the diameter, remember the diameter is the length basically from one side of the circle to the other. And it's 8 centimeters. So you just pop that in. 8. Okay, no problemo. And then you're just going to say 3.142. Careful to type that in correctly. And then there is your answer. Um, you can round it off to two decimal places. Um, but you can also just leave it like this. Okay. Um, and just remember to put your centimeters in. It's not centimeters squared because it's circumference. It's a distance, right? Um, remember, squared is for area and cubed is for volume. Okay, let's move on. This um, question has a couple of more complicated questions that follow, but that's okay. Determine in centimeters the radius of one circular wooden tag. Now remember, the radius is half of the diameter. So you just have to 8 divided by 2, and then the radius is 4 centimeters. Okay, so that's that there. Pretty easy. The reason they're making you do this is because you need this information to do the last question, which is the trickiest of all. I think it's the biggest question of this paper. It's nine marks. So we're really going to have to um, work quite slowly and methodically in order to get the answer. So let's do this together. The hardware store sells paint in 50 milliliters, one liter, five liters, and 20 liter containers. Okay. Mrs. Homo claims that a 50 milliliter can of paint will be sufficient to paint one side of 36 circular wooden tags. Verify a statement. So we have to say yes or no, but we also have to show all our calculations. We can't just be out here guessing. Use the following formula, area of the circle, um, and there's that. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to work out the area of the circle, but then we have to take that little hole out, right? Because she's not gonna paint the hole. The hole's where she's going to clip it onto the calendar right so we have to do the area minus that area then we have to times that by 36. then we have to look at the spread rate right to say okay well how much paint do we need to cover 36 and then see if 50 milliliters is enough okay so that's the kind of approach we're going to take let's do one thing at a time um and let's start with the area of the big circle so the area of the big circle area i'm just going to say a big circle is going to be 3,142 times by 4 squared, right? Because that's our radius. We worked it out in the previous one, and you have to square it, okay? Be careful to put this into your calculator correctly because this is where things can start going a little bit south. Okay, that's where you put the little squared, pop that in there, and it says it is 50,272 centimeters squared because it's area, okay? Because that's in centimeters, centimeters squared. Now, students just want to say, convert, um, just compare that to 50 milliliters and be done. You're not done. That's just the area of the big circle. But the area of the small circle, they told us in the question, is this. So now what we need to do is we need to say, okay, 50,272, but we have to subtract all 3142, okay, which we got from there, to see what the actual area that we need to paint, right? So we have to subtract off. 0 
and write that there, 49,9578. At this stage, I would say don't round off anything, only round off at the end. Okay, so that's how much we need for just one of these tags, okay? But now we have to times that by 36. So 49,9578, we're gonna times that by 36 because there's 36 circles in total. Um, do I still have the answer in there? Great. I'm going to times it by 36, and I'm going to need 1798,4808 centimeters squared. Okay, that's great. So we're doing quite well then. But now a little bit of a tricky trick in is that the spread rate is in meters squared per milliliter. So we need to convert this into meters squared. Otherwise, we can't actually do the calculation and see how much we need. Okay. So, what we need to do, we need to convert this into meters squared. Now, if I'm going from centimeters into meters, I generally just divide by 100, right? That's kind of standard. But now, because there's a little squared involved, you have to actually divide it by 100 squared. Okay, so it's not so simple as you thought. So, it's that. You divide it by 100 squared because we are moving from area to area, not just distance to distance. So it's a very important thing to note there. So it's going to be 0, 0,17984808 meters squared. Wonderful. Okay. Now, we're going to leave that there. I'm going to say, okay, well, the spread rate of this pain, of this paint, not this paint, <laughs> not this pain, um, is 6 meters squared per liter. Okay. So basically that means 6 meters squared for one liter. But actually what we want to figure out is we want to figure out 50 milliliters, okay? Because that's what we, that's what she wants to buy, right? That's what we need to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this into milliliters. In order to convert it into milliliters, you're going to times it by a thousand. So that's a thousand milliliters because there's a thousand milliliters in a liter. You should know that. Keep, keep doing that there. So that hasn't changed. Now, how do we go from a thousand milliliters to 50 milliliters. Well, we have to divide by 20. Okay. So you could just to test that you go like this. It says, ah, I have to divide by 20. Okay. So I divide by 20 on that side. But what I do to the one side, I have to do to the other side. So now I have to say six divided by 20. Ah, so it gives me 0, 0,3 meters squared. Okay. So in order to use a full 50 milliliters, it will cover a uh, area, oh, excuse me, my, my dog is, is sitting here and he decided that it was time to comment, 0, 0,3 meters squared. So now what you have to do is you have to compare that to that, right? And you say, oh, well, well 0, 0,3 meters squared is actually greater than 0, 0,17984808 meters squared, okay? So it's actually more. So actually the 50 milliliters is going to be fine because it's more than what we need. So you say, therefore, Mrs. Homo is right. Okay, 50 milliliters is more than enough. Okay, so that's what you need to, to realize in these questions is sometimes there's a lot of pieces going on here. And in a nine mark question, I know that it can be panic stations, but you just have to work through these things periodically and then you, um, not periodically, methodically, <laughs> and you'll get to the answer. Okay, so very important to give your conclusion. Don't just leave it there. But let's move on to the last question of question three because it's been not too long. I think we can just do it in this video and then we can be done with question three. Um, let's move down here and let's look at question 3.3. So on each learner's birthday, the learner receives a cubic shaped package. Remember cubic means every side is of equal length. Okay. So that side is equal to that side in length, right? All of them are the same. Um, packet of homemade sweets as shown in the diagram. Mrs. Homo is such a nice teacher. You're giving nice sweets to everybody. That's very nice. Okay. So use the diagram above to answer the questions that follow. The volume of the, of the cubic packet, right, that you have there is 2744 centimeters squared. So then it says calculate the side length of the cubic shaped packet and we must use this formula. Now, students get a bit stressy about this because they're like, oh, there's three sides and I don't know what to do. But remember, all these sides are equal, right, because it's a cube. And that's why they gave you that little, um, little, uh, little clue, right, to help you. 
So what you need to do is you say, okay, we're not stressed. We actually are very good at this. We say volume equals basically one side cubed, right? Because they're all the same. You can say it's cubed. And you say, well, that side equals 2744. We were given that, okay? And we still have this side all cubed. Now, this is one thing you, you may not be familiar with, but after I show you, hopefully it'll be easy. I want to get rid of this now because I don't want the side cube. I just want one side, right? I just want, what does one side equal? So in order to get rid of that, I have to cube root it, right? So do you see this little thing here with that three? It basically removes that cube root there. And inside, I'm going to put 2744 4, because if I remove it on that side, well, I have to, whatever I do to the one side, I have to do to the other side. And it gives me this wonderful answer of 14 centimeters. And there's my answer, right? So it's not too complicated. All you have to do is break it down into smaller pieces. So 14 centimeters, we are done, and that is wonderful. Okay, let's now move on to 3.3.2, which is a probability, prob prob probability, probability <laughs> question. There are 35 different colored sweets in each packet. Okay, that's great to know. Here's the table um, showing the breakdown of sweets, okay? Um, so there were four blue, five purple, eight pink, etc. Determine the probability as a decimal, important, right? Because it means that's the, the, how we need to um, show it, of randomly, of randomly choosing a pink or yellow. So pink, let's get pink, pink or yellow, okay? From the packet. Okay, so the ways that we can get a pink or yellow are eight plus seven, okay? 3.3.2. So we say 8 plus 7. That's the different ways we can get what we want. And then we have to say the total different ways that we can get something, the different types of sweets we can get, right? Well, there's 35. So the answer here is going to be 15 over 35, but we're not done. It asks us to please put it as a decimal. So we just pop this into our calculator. And then we to put it into a decimal, we press this little button, and the decimal is 0,4285. Dum 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 dum. And I would just do this and round it to two decimal places. Why? Um, look at the third decimal place. It's eight. It means you round up. And there is your answer. Okay. And that's us done with question three. I will upload question four and five later today. But I hope that's helpful for now. Okay. Goodbye.